Hi, it is Eliki here and I have just finished traveling Ecuador for six weeks. So I really, really want to share with you the best, best of Ecuador. So when talking about Ecuador, I actually don't want to highlight specific locations because I think the most important thing in Ecuador is to experience all three parts of it. So basically Ecuador consists of Amazon, Andes and the coast. And I think the main goal of your trip is to visit at least one place in each region. Amazon was definitely the highlight of my Ecuador trip. It was absolutely amazing. The environment, the nature, the animals. Honestly, it's one of the best experiences. And I think you need to experience Amazon in general if you travel to South America. So doing three Ecuador was really, really great. They have a few options where to do it. I went through Coyabeno Reserve and we stayed in this amazing lodge. So we had all the basic things we need and not even the basic, like we had hot water, we had amazing food. It was a really, really good time in the jungle. Then you have to visit at least one city in Andes. And my recommendation is Quito or Cuenca. Quito is the capital, so it's much bigger. There will be so much to do. And not just in Quito city, actually, in the surrounding area as well. There are so many volcanoes around Quito and the Quito city itself is so lovely. And for example, on Sundays, they close the main street so you can explore the city on bicycle. I mean, the city has so, so much to offer. But uh, there is another option, which is Cuenca, which is smaller. So you only will need a day or two to explore it. And it's a really, really beautiful city and it's very religious. So you will find churches and cathedrals on every corner. It's a really, really lovely place as well. One place I want to highlight is Vanyas. It's absolute adult playground. If you like extreme sports, if you like activities outdoors, it's the perfect, perfect location because you can do rafting, canyoning. There are so many hiking trails. There are some insane swings. And at the same time, you can enjoy the Vanyas town. And then, of course, the coast. The coast is just chill vibes all the way. It's very relaxed environment. You can really feel that all the three parts in Ecuador are so different. People are so different in each like area and definitely beach area is so, so chill, so relaxed. I mean, it's a really good vibe there. You can either visit and stay in cities like Salinas and Manta that will give you like the city vibe by the beach or you can go proper, proper beach vibes only like these little cute beach towns in Ecuador. Like for example, my favorite one is Olon, which I highly, highly recommend to everyone because you can chill there, there is a really good beach with a nice water and sand, but at the same time there are really good waves for the surfer beginners. Um, so yeah, Olong kind of has everything for everyone and it is a very, very chill place because you'll find that everyone will recommend you Montanita, which might be a good location for you, but it's a proper, proper party town. So if you're looking for something more chill, then Olong will definitely be a good alternative to Montanita. But if you want to party hard, then Montanita is definitely the place for you. And also, of course, Ecuador has the amazing, beautiful Galapagos Islands. I won't comment on them too much because I didn't go personally. It was just a bit out of our budget. We're traveling on budget and Galapagos is just so, so expensive. So we'll, we'll do it on another trip. Uh, but yes, of course, Galapagos is another must do thing in Ecuador. Apart from Galapagos, I have videos on every location I mentioned in this video. So if you're traveling to Ecuador and interested in these specific locations, make sure to check out my channel. I have a whole Ecuador travel playlist on there. Ecuador is amazing and I highly, highly recommend traveling there. But there are a few things you should know before you go. So first, I would like to mention the stray dogs. It is a massive, massive problem everywhere in Ecuador, in big cities, on the coast, everywhere where we went, there were so, so many stray dogs. And the problem is that they can actually be aggressive and they can bite you. And we actually heard some stories where people being attacked by the dogs. And one, once we were there, there was sometimes actually kind of... <laughs> 
I don't want to say it wrong, but it's like a dog gang. It's like there is like six, seven dogs together. They are like a group of dogs. And that's what scared me the most because if there is one dog, that kind of felt okay. But if there is like a gang of dogs, then that kind of bit freaked me out sometimes because I was really scared they're going to attack me. So that would be, I think, the biggest and the problem that I really sometimes didn't like. I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable. And the problem is that they actually can carry rabies. So if they bite you, you have to go to the hospital, your whole trip is ruined. So I think the main advice here will be just watch out from the dogs, be careful. You know, there are a lot of dog lovers and they want to play with the dogs, but be careful. And yeah, just, just make sure that the dogs don't attack you. Another major problem in Ecuador, specifically in Ecuador, is the thieves on the bus. So basically what they do, they get in a bus, they hide in a bus and then during the trip uh, under the seat they catch your bag and they take everything they can and then they just get out because the buses in Ecuador go through like little towns uh, until they stop at the main last bus stop so people can ask to be dropped off at any point. So yeah, so that's what they do. And actually it was so scary. We were so, so near being robbed because we were uh, going on this night bus from Banos to Cuenca. And we all sit down, we all ready to go. And the driver actually kicked out a, a thief who was hiding at the end. So I, I was so grateful that he checked the bus, he threw him out, but I can't believe how close we were to be robbed. So really, really I watch your bag when you are on a bus, night bus, day bus, doesn't matter, it happens both. And then short distance, long distances, we heard stories from many different routes. And yeah, the, the, I guess the best advice here would be just to hold your bag in your lap. So make sure you don't have the bag on the floor because that's what they do. They cut the bag under the seat and they take out so you won't even notice that someone is like touching your bag or anything. So yeah, make sure to hold your bag in your lap. So this is not really a problem, but I just want to warn you in case you are in a rush. Uh, service takes ages and I'm not being dramatic. I have waited for food in Ecuador for an hour and a half. We timed it because it has happened before, uh, with us before. There's been several times when we wait for the food for at least an hour or at least like 40, 50 minutes for sure. So it's not really a problem. Of course, you're enjoying yourself, you're traveling, but if you, you know, you need to catch a bus or you're in a bit in a rush, don't go out to the restaurants or just like grab the food that's like a street food ready or something like that. Just just be aware that if you go out for a food, it might take an hour to get the food. Another thing that by the end of the trip we already got used to and it's so normal, but I feel like I have to mention it is that what is online and what is in reality not always match. And mostly I'm talking this about buses. So bus timelines, timetables, bus prices, all that most probably won't be what you see online. So at the end of the trip, we literally didn't even check online. We just went to the bus station and we got the ticket, basically the next ticket. Um, so sometimes, yes, we had to wait in the bus stations, but basically in Ecuador, you just go to the bus station and you just buy the next ticket you can. Uh, there is a system that is a really good system. The bus system is great. You can get to so many locations from so many locations. It's really good, but yeah, there is no following after timetable or pricing. It's just you go to the bus station and you get what you can get. And the technical part, just when you travel to Ecuador and if you don't really have too many travel plans after that, make sure to book a ticket out of Ecuador because they will require a proof that you are leaving the country within three months. Two more things I just want to mention are that they use actually American dollar here so it's very easy for American tourists and just in, in general to change the money but at the same time it means that the Ecuador so far actually has been the most expensive country in South America. Also, which for me seemed so, so strange, um, obviously guinea pigs are a household pets in Europe and we don't look at them as a food, but here in Ecuador, they actually eat them, they cook them and they eat them. It's like a normal food. And I found it so, so weird because you know, they, they cook in them and you can see the face and everything. And it just seems so, so strange and weird. And I never tried it. I couldn't, I literally couldn't. Um, but yeah, so if you see that, that's normal. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And as I said, I have videos on all the places mentioned in this video. So make sure to check out my channel for those specific locations.